When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to Geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your moves. Blog Talk Radio. Thank you for tuning in to Awakening to Natural Wellness. Today is Sunday, January the 11th at 6.30 p.m. Blog Talk Radio Show, I am your host, Katina Shaw, author, speaker, intuitive, life coach, and wellness coach. Today's show is called Spirit, Consciousness, and Holistic Healing. My website is Lotus, L-O-T-U-S, Life, L-I-S-E, Healing, H-E-A-L-I-N-G, dot com. You can connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A, dot Shaw, dot three. Today I'm going to be sharing my awakening and spiritual journey throughout my life's experience. Today's show will be the beginning of a series. This is actually part one, and I will have different guests on the show uh, weekly. So I'm going to start and tell you all that um, my journey is unique. Um, Everyone's journey is unique. And I lived in California when I recognized that I started uh, on my awakening spiritual journey. And for me, I just always knew that there was more. I was always a part of some type of spiritual organization or church, uh, more of a author orthodox upbringing, and I just always knew that there was more. I was always searching. Um, so from the age of 26, uh, Fort Fast forward up into about 32, 33 years of age um, when I lived in California, um, I had a co-worker, and my co-worker was 20 years my senior, very energetic, very happy, very positive, and had a really positive um, impression on me. And so I just simply asked him one day, I said, you are always happy and energetic. What is your secret? What are you about? What are you into? I just, you know, I just wanted to know. And so my coworker shared with me that he's uh, very positive and he surrounds himself with positive people and he taught me about Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, the audio CDs, as well as the book, Think and Grow Rich. And so this was a beginning point for me. And I started listening to the CDs. Um, They're very positive, very uplifting. And I basically just started listening to the CDs, and they started helping me to change my thoughts. And to start being, I was already a positive person, but to actually uh, help me to start being even more positive. And my coworker also uh, helped me to start having a, a healthier diet, to clean up my diet and to, you know, start cleansing the body with fruits and vegetables and organic foods and things like that and drinking aloe vera juice. And my my coworker, He was just so positive and just happy and energetic and in shape, and I wanted to be like him. So this was the beginning point for me. So more about thinking real rich. Um, It taught me the power of positive, positivity, and having a positive mind, a positive attitude, having a purpose, a definite purpose in life, something that you become part of, something that you're passionate about and working in that and finding joy in what you do um, is just so important. And it taught me that you can go after your dreams, that that they are achievable, and it's not just something that you dream about, that you can actually make your dreams a reality. And so it taught me to go for my dreams and gave me confidence, 
taught me confidence, that I can do anything and that all things are possible. And Thinking Grow Rich also taught me about, you know, believing, the power of belief, to believe in myself and to have faith in myself and to know that I make a difference in my own life as well as others' lives. Um, It caused me to want to know more. It just made me have more hunger and made me want to go after that knowledge. And just, you know, I'm like, wow, this is really some great stuff. To, to tap into and to, to, you know, make part of my life. And so it's very aspirational to me. Um, so thinking about riches is monetary riches, but also it talks about having rich relationships, having a rich mind, having a rich consciousness, a conscious, and, which is so very powerful. Um, and so, you know, all areas of our lives, it teaches you how to have a richness, have have the best, have the, to, to, to just be in that flow of energy to have, to think rich thoughts, to think rich thoughts, because thoughts are things. So I chewed on that for a while. I would play the CDs in my car, you know, to and from work. It was a 30-minute commute for me. And I played those CDs until it became part of me. And uh, I've seen some great things to take shape in my life, and my life is really good. And the secret, a few years after that, I moved back to Michigan, and the secret took me up to another level. It opened my mind up for more and, and, and you know, just reminded me that I really can have what I desire in this life experience. And actually looking at the documentary, The Secret, you know, to actually see the, the, the pictures and see the scenes, see the people actually manifest things in these scenes and the people that share their stories, that create the relationships they want, you know, the marriages they want, the life partnerships that they want, the business partnerships, the, the healing that took place, uh, how people were able to heal themselves. To, you know, they, they achieve healing, how people use positive affirmations to heal themselves and to watch comedy, you know, that laughter, that laughter energy is, is medicine as well, is, is healing. So I just encourage you to to watch The Secret, you know, the documentary The Secret, the audio The Secret. Um, this has truly been a blessing to our planet. And some of the people that are in there is Rhonda Byrne, who is the creator of The Secret, Lisa Nichols, which is a very inspirational, motivational, transformational coach, Michael Bernard Beckwith, Neil Donald Walsh, Esther Hicks. Um, there's so many great people, uh, Jack Canfield, all these great people that are here that have purposed themselves to come to our planet to help us to uplift humanity and to tap into our greatness. And so this is just such a wonderful uh, thing to our planet, the secret. You know, it teaches, the secret teaches about that you can really have what you desire. Things happen and and that our thoughts are things, you know, things don't just happen by chance. We think them into being. We think them into being. We speak them into being. And that's why we have to be conscious, become conscious thinkers, to become more aware of our thoughts and our our words and our actions. I can attract the career that I want, the lifestyle that I want, the material things I want, the relationships I want. I can have that circle of friends that I want, you know, and then just being more open to receive. When we are open to receive, you receive more. And then when you're grateful, when you're grateful for what you have, you receive more. So I am very grateful for this knowledge that I have come into and how my consciousness has raised and how my thoughts have changed over the years. And the secret has really been a blessing and uh, is like a bridge for me, you know. And then I have more things that are coming to my life now. And then, you know, I started learning after the secret. I started learning about crystal stones and meditating, and um, that healing is an energy. Prayer is an energy. Is an energy, and I learned about the crystals. How the crystals can be a catalyst to the spirit realm, and how they help us 
to meditate and how they help us to tune in because they have a frequency also. And I met a very um, good friend of mine now that we're, we're friends. We've been friends for a number of years who taught me about meditation and and how to tune in and how they um, actually use crystals uh, for healing us also. Um, and then I learned about the Aetherius Society, how to go within and how to meditate. Uh, Dr. George King and taught me how to deep breathing, listening to his audio and learning about his teachings at the Aetherius Society. And the importance of deep breathing has really been a blessing to my life. Uh, that is another way that one can heal themselves is through, the, through deep breathing, clean, fresh air, and tuning into uh, the spirit within and um, tuning into a higher frequency. Uh, deep breathing helps us to do that. So it helps us spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Uh, the Fear Society has also taught me about discipline and being a service to others. Um, and so whenever every chance I get, I go to it to visit the Theater Society in Royal Oak, Michigan, and it's truly been a blessing to me. There's so many wonderful spiritual books there to teach oneself about the power of that's within you. And it teaches you self-discipline. It teaches you self-reliance and how to be a service to others and pray for the world. They're about world peace. And so this, the Theater Society is uh, truly a blessing to the world. Um and so other things that that the Theater Society has helped me with is uh, having a prayer life, the 12 blessings that I recite every day in my meditations. It helps me to stay in alignment with source, with energy, with God. And the Theater Society has just, you know, been a blessing, you know, with the whole thing about healing, uh, how we heal ourselves and we help to heal others uh, through the power uh, that God has given us. And Abraham Hicks, I this is where I am now. Um, our Abraham Hicks, the Law of Attraction. You may have heard of it. The Esther Hicks. Um, it's a collection of a consciousness, um, a collection of consciousness energies that help us, that are here to assist us um, with our spiritual walk and tuning in and awakening to who we really are. And Abraham Hicks is, is helping me to let go of the old with the things that no longer serve me and teaching me about self-love and worthiness and being a deliberate creator because we are creators of our own experience, of our own lives. We are creators. And, again, learning to tune ourselves to source, learning to control our thoughts, to change how we thought, to reprogram our thinking because our thoughts are very powerful. We create things with our thoughts. So we have to, we want the life that we deserve. We must learn to only think about the things that we want and the things that we do not want, do not think about them. And Abraham Hicks is helping me uh, with finding and staying in a happy place and maintaining a positive vibration, which is so necessary to receive whatever it is that we desire in this life experience that we're creating. We're co-creators together here in this space, in this time reality that we're in right now. And so doing whatever it takes to get into a happy place, whether it's going out in nature whether it's singing, meditating, deep breathing, a song that makes you feel good, watching your favorite sport. These are all things that help us to get in alignment or thinking about someone who makes you happy. Maybe it's your children, your spouse. Um, and these are just things that help us to get in alignment. It really is our responsibility to be happy in a happy place, and we must take that responsibility to make ourselves happy and keep ourselves happy versus someone else. We must find that space, that place of happiness, so that we can align with the frequencies, the energies that create the world, the energy that help us to achieve the things that we desire in this life experience that we're in right now. So staying connected to source at all times, um, this is a good way to do it. 
and so that we are vibrational beings. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. It's not the other way around. So we're vibrational beings. When you learn this, you learn to feel your way through. So it's beyond the five senses. It's beyond the five senses. It's like a sixth sense or even more than that. We are tapping into energy. It's something that you feel. How do you know that God is real? How do you know that source energy is real? It's something that you feel. It's a presence. It's an energy. It's, it's, it's a resonance. You just know that it is. And so what we need to do is we need to tune ourselves to source energy. God is something that we tune into. It's part of who we are. It's not something outside of us. So you just you focus and you become in alignment with source energy. It's a love. It's a love frequency. God is love. Spirit is love. Consciousness, higher consciousness is a positive love vibration, a love frequency that we tune ourselves into. We become it. We are it. We are love, and we we just we just remind ourselves of that. We already knew this, but now we are reawakening to that realization that we are love. So if you're looking for love, you are love. And if you want to experience love, just become it. Just tune into love to where it really is. It's really within you. And so creating the life that we want, all you have to do is just tune into that higher frequency, which is you, which is spirit, which is God, which is higher consciousness. Tune into it. It's something that you tune into. Tell a different story. If you want your finances to improve, if you want your health to improve, if you want your relationships to improve, tell a different story. Don't talk about your illness. Don't talk about the lack of finances. Don't talk about the past relationships that you had that didn't serve you, that weren't pleasant. Talk about a new story. Talk about the relationship that you do want. Visualize the life partner, the mate, the spouse that you want. Visualize that job or that career or that business that you want. Visualize it. Visualize the finances. Write yourself a check. How much money do you want to earn? These are the things. These are this, these are the things that you must believe before you receive them. It's not the other way around. You are a creator. You are a creator. So you must create the things that you want with the thoughts that you think, the words that you speak. In conversation, if there's something that you desire, find someone who listens. So find someone who's a positive friend, a coworker, a neighbor a relative who's positive, who's on your frequency, who will support you and uplift you and believe with you, and then you can co-create what you want together. It's such a fun thing to do, to just get in a happy space and just love yourself more. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are worthy. We get what we want because of the thoughts that we think, so make them good thoughts. If you want good things to happen, Tune into that higher frequency of love. Tune into the positive vibrations, the positive frequencies, the love, joy, peace, happiness, prosperity. Think those thoughts. Bless others and be happy for other people when great things happen. These are bridges. These are things that will lead us to what we desire. And so now I'm just going to share a few quotes and passages um, from some books and things that, you know, people that I um, inspire me. And one of my, one of the books is called Angel Numbers 101, with the Rain Virtue. One of my favorite numbers is 888, which is a number I see a lot. And the number means this is an auspicious sign, free financial support and abundance from the universe. Money is flowing in your direction. And one that I created myself is, I am in divine alignment with my highest good and divine life purpose. 
I keep myself happy regardless. I learned this from Christy Marie Sheldon. You can look her up on YouTube. I get paid lots of money for an abundance of money doing what I love and for being my true self. Affirmations are powerful. They help you to visualize and to become that which you desire. Here's another one. I have access and power to the energy that creates worlds. Abraham Hicks. My life is grand. Here's another one. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I am my unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. There are people who are always looking for my services, who are in alignment, see the value in what I have to offer, and are willing to pay me. I am always in demand, and I can pick and choose what I want to do. I receive an abundance of money, doing what satisfies me. All is well in my world. And that's from Doreen, not Doreen, but Louise L. Hayes' book, You Can Heal Your Life. And this book is full of passages and affirmations like that. And she has been very inspirational in my life. And I get her quotes on Facebook every day. So these are just some tools for you to use to help you on your life's journey, to help you on your spiritual journey, to help you to align with who you really are, who you really are. Because life is supposed to be fun, exciting, exhilarating, wonderful. These are all attributes of source energy, of God, of the universe. Happy, uplifting thoughts. These these are the vibrations that we must become in order to tap into that source energy and to create the lives that we want. And so I'm just going to name a few more people, inspirational people, who have really made a difference in my life who you may want to connect to as well. Michael Bernard Beckwith has really been an inspiration in my life. Lisa Nichols, Neil Donald Walsh, Neil Donald Walsh, excuse me, Rhonda Byrne, and Lisa Nichols. These are very inspirational people. And I just encourage you to take control of your life. And if you want to connect with me, I am on Facebook. Again, facebook.com, Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A, dot Shaw, S-H-A-W, dot the number three. I'm also um, a wellness coach. And my website is Lotus, L-O-T-U-S, Life, L-I-F-E, Healing, H-E-A-L-I-N-G dot com. And thank you so much for tuning in to Awakening to Natural Wellness. I am your host, Katina Shaw. Today's show is Spirit, Consciousness, and Holistic Healing, Part 1. We will have a number of guests on our show, a different guest every week. And thank you for tuning in. Namaste. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can seem intense. Like, breakup R&B intense. I thought you said you loved the sweater that I got you. If you didn't, you could have told me. Geico makes it easy. Just go to Geico.com anytime to update or check your policy. Without all the extra drama. I even had a gift receipt. 